Some seat straps have a hook, others have a ring that fits around the, the uh, boot, the cap of the bassoon. And when you put on the seat strap, the ring goes into the hole nearest you. Meaning, if the bassoon is, the bassoon is going to be like this in your lap, you need to have it on this hole not on the one on the opposite side. That creates a little bit of problem. So go ahead and put this on the, on the bassoon. And then the seat strap, you need to slide under you. And notice we haven't put on the bocal yet. We'll, we'll be doing that a little bit later, but I don't want you to poke out your eye. <laughs> so we're going to first look at the bassoon and how to finger it. So the bassoon is off to my right hand side just off my, my right hip here. I'm seated and sitting on the, the leather seat strap. And the left hand goes over the wing joint and the long joint. And there, on most bassoons, there's three holes here. I'll come up with the camera real closely, real soon. And you cover these three holes with your fingers. And then on the back side, there are keys for the thumb. So I'll come up to the camera so you can have a look at that again. So there's the left hand. It covers hole number one here, that we call that. Uh, that's uh, the hole that uh, is open when it plays F and you close it when it plays E. Here's for playing D. And then C is often a hole. But on this particular instrument, I have this extension key, which is very nice for the smaller hands. And then in the back here, the one key we're going to learn today is called the whisper key. And here's the key right here, and it activates this mechanism that will be closing a little hole by the, um, on the vocal. The right hand is situated down here. For our first lesson, we're really not going to worry about the right hand so much. We're going to worry about the left hand. We'll do fingerings with that. Uh, for people with a large right hand, they might want to have a what we call a crutch. And it's a device that goes here in this post. But for now, we're not going to worry about the, um, the right hand. OK, so in terms of seating with, with the bassoon, the bassoon itself has weight that pulls you forward. So I think in order to counterbalance the bassoon, actually leaning back and being situated in the back of the chair is a good idea. So I encourage my students just to sit all the way, all the way back in a comfortable uh, position, perhaps just leaning back slightly with the bassoon this way. OK, now we're ready to put on the bassoon vocal. It's very important when you put on the vocal that you don't grip it by this end, but you grip it by the top. You slide it in here. If it's very stiff, it might need some cork grease on it, because it does have a cork. And you make sure that this pad is not down. Sometimes there are whisper key locks that force this pad down. The lock may be down in this part of your instrument, or it may be where the whisper key is. Make sure that pad is open. The vocal slides in so that the pad will, will see where the vocal is. OK, so before we put the bassoon reed on, let's see about adjusting our position. So first you sit up straight with your, your, uh, your back to the chair, and you bring the vocal to you. Oh, well you can see mine's too low. So I have to raise, raise it up. I grab the end of the seat strap, raise it up a little bit. That's better. That's better. Okay. So now we're ready to um, put. 
put on the uh, bassoon reed. Bassoon reed slides just on the end of the vocal here. And again, I sit up straight, I bring the bassoon reed to me, and we're ready, ready to try to play a little bit. So, for your first lesson, I'm just going to teach you three fingerings. Put the whisper key down. I'll come up to the camera and show you soon. E, first finger, D, second finger, and C, the third finger. Here it is again. So the whisper key is down. E, D, C. So the little tune I'm just going to teach you is hot cross buns. You start on the E, goes E, D, C. So let's try this. Go ahead, if you got your bassoon out, go ahead and try it as well, or you can try it later. So practice that a little bit, the hot cross buns, those three notes. And now we're ready to take apart the bassoon and to show you how the swaps work. <laughs> Thank you. 